Okay, I'm back with the lesser known title that I took a look at, and that's the 88 Films release for The First Power. This is a film that came out in 1990, directed by Robert Rezenkoff, who all, he directed it and wrote it. <clears throat> and he only directed two films, this and The Jogger. Uh, and this is not a bad effort on his part. Uh, it stars Lou Diamond, a baby-faced Lou Diamond Phillips as a cop trying to solve some serial killings, satanic serial killings um, that's portrayed by Jeff Kober, who was fantastic as the serial killer. Uh, Jeff Kober went on to be Joe in The Walking Dead show. And it also stars Tracy Griffith as a psychic. Uh, Tracy Griffith is, I believe, the half-sister of Melanie Griffith. It's a, it's a kind of a guilty pleasure for me. I saw it in the theaters when it came out, and uh, I really liked the the over-the-top storyline. It's very cheesy. Uh, the acting, quite honestly, particularly from Tracy Griffith and Lou Diamond Phillips, is uh, cringeworthy at times as far as their delivery of lines and things like that. It's, um, well, to be honest, I think Tracy Griffith just was not cut out to be an actress um, and ironically enough she didn't do a whole lot and then she went on to marry um, <clears throat> the president of the polo Ralph Lauren closing line so she was I think she was very smart to move on and try to marry some money because she's not a very good actress and this film I think would be my exhibit A for her kind of moving on in her career uh, she just, she, her delivery is stilted. Uh, she, she's always got the same look on her face, and it's, well, you just got to see it. But it's fun. It's one of those films that, um, even with the bad dialogue and bad acting in parts, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It's cheesy fun, and uh, the storyline moves along. Jeff Kober, who plays the serial killer, is fantastic in this. And he, uh, he looks, I think the film was inspired by the, uh, the Ramirez killings, the satanic killings in California, uh, the Night Stalker killings. I mean, and he, and, and, and to some extent, Jeff Cobra looks like Robert Ramirez. He just doesn't have long curly hair like him. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fun scenes in this. I mean, this is the only horror movie I know that has, um, a ceiling fan that gets turned into a buzzsaw. Uh, you've got ceiling fans turning into buzzsaws. You've got a huge uh, water slide through a water sewer system uh, at the end. It's it's crazy stuff. Um, and then Lou Diamond Phillips is clearly miscast as a police officer. He just he looks he looks too young and too baby faced. Uh, but the, again the. With all those uh, blemishes on the film, it's still a fun ride and an enjoyable slasher film, serial killer film. I can recommend it. This 88 Films release um, is a nice quality print. And it's got a few uh, interviews and behind the scenes looks at the film, a couple trailers. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I, I would recommend it. If you're looking for a lesser known title, uh, even though it came out in the 90s, I think it still has that 80s cheese factor going for it. You've got girls in cargo pants and, you know, the clothing is still very much 80s. So, yeah, and the, and the kind of the boofy hair. Um, so even all those are things aside, I think you're going to like this movie, Jeff Kober, particularly for Jeff Kober's performance. Uh, highly re recommended. This is number... I think this is number 18. Yeah, this is number 18 of the Slasher Classics collection. And that is the first power. De definitely recommend that. Thanks for watching.